Hello everybody, it's Wendy and today I have for you a little bit of a jewelry de-stash. So I am actually um, going through and cleaning out and just trying to de-stash. I've got a huge, huge um, pile of stuff that I'm going to do a giveaway on eventually. Um, I've got a big pile of stuff that I'm donating to the church. Oh, I've just been going through a lot of stuff. So I have put together some lots that I'm going to sell. And these mainly have um, a lot of gemstone pieces in them, some really nice gemstone focal pieces mainly, um, and some filigree focals, and just some nice stuff that I put together um, that I tried to kind of color coordinate and I think will make a really nice, um, just kind of a stash builder jewelry lot with some gems, cool gemstone stuff in it. So these lots are $20 each. Um, with $4 shipping, so $24 total, and really for the gemstones that are in here and all the beads that I've included in, I think it's a really good deal. So if you're interested in any of the lots, what I need you to do is comment on the video which lot you're interested in and email me. Here's my email, okay? So email me, tell me which lot you're interested in, and the first person, obviously, to comment and email me will get first priority, but um, if that person doesn't follow through or whatever, then I'll keep a line of, you know, of whoever is interested in which one. So, um, yeah, and that's what we're going to do. So, hold on just a minute, and let me get this first lot out here, and I'll show you everything that's in this one. So, this is lot number one, okay? I'll show you all the gemstone pieces first. So, this is a beautiful cat's eye heart pendant okay this is a gemstone pendant and i believe it is jade um, some of these things i don't know exactly what they are because um they weren't labeled when i got them but i know that they're gemstones <laughs> and this piece i thought was beautiful absolutely beautiful and that piece goes really well with this. And this is stunning. It's got a matte finish on it. And this is black dragon vein agate. And it's a cab. And it would be perfect to glue like a bale on or to wire wrap. Where you could glue a charm, like a filigree piece. I thought the tree of life would be really pretty on that. The tree of life charm. Or you could wire wrap it for the tree of life. Um, this is a cat's eye pendant as well both of these are and these as well could be wire wrapped they could have a piece of filigree glued on them or they could have a bale glued on okay let me see if i can get everybody on screen here uh, we have a piece of opalite here it's just a little pendant piece it has a hole through it for you know wire or a bale whatever you wanted to do with it um, we have some chrysalicola, I believe is how you say this. <laughs> chrysalicola, two rondelles, and a focal bead. Let's get these things over. And we've got some beautiful little crystal points here that are electroplated, and I think they're so pretty. So I felt like all these colors went really well together. And um, so these are the gemstones in this lot. Now, along with that, you will get these two little seashell uh, focal pieces, which I thought were really pretty and matched well with all of that. So let me set this, scoot this over. Okay. So then for the filigree and the pendant focals in here. So we've got this, which I think is beautiful. Now, some of this stuff is um, jewelry pieces that came off of like some pre-owned um, pendants and necklaces and stuff so you know it's not brand new all of it but it's still very pretty I thought this was really pretty so there's that piece and then we have some filigree here some butterflies filigree butterflies um, a filigree owl and all these pieces you can glue um, rhinestones in like the owl you could glue them there the butterfly and this, of course, is a chandelier finding, or you could glue rhinestones in there. Oops, so sorry. Uh, this piece I thought was really cool and matched really well with all of this. Here's another filigree piece with a rhinestone setting. And then this is a Swarovski pendant piece with rhinestones or flat 
back settings. So those are the pendant pieces. And here are the gemstones again. So we've got all that. And then I threw in, um, these are some Jesse James beads. It's just a mix of Jesse James beads. <laughs> these are kind of cool. They're like a bunch of little seed beads glued on there. It's a large hole bead. And then these are like little fabric um, drops. I thought they were really cute. So together with all of that, um, here is a repurposed... I think it must have been a necklace or a bracelet, but it's got some halite skulls in there, and your all your little links are already beaded for you. And I threw in a 60 seed bead mix. So this is lot number one. Um, and if you're interested in lot number one and all that it contains, <laughs> then go ahead and um, email me and comment on the video, and lot number one can be yours. Okay. So let me set lot number one aside, and we'll go with lot number two. All right, so lot number two, let's start with the gemstones in lot number two. So we have a beautiful cat eye heart. Now this does not have a hole, so you would have to wrap it, wire wrap it, or I don't know what, glue a pendant onto it, bail onto it, whatever, but it is really pretty. And then we have a flat um, cat eye cab here and this is really pretty and it does have the hole for the pendant we have a couple more cat eye pieces here and this one has a hole this one doesn't so you would have to glue a bail on or wire wrap him um, this one is a little drop but it again you'd have to wire wrap it or you could glue a bead cap on these and bead them that way so there's that uh, we have a turquoise piece here, a pendant, or a turquoise bead. This is like a flat disc bead. And then we have some beautiful opalite. I love this stuff. Now this has to be wire wrapped as well. So this is, this would be a really good lot for somebody who can wire wrap well. <laughs> um, here is a crystal piece and another flat cat's eye um, cab piece. This is onyx, um, and these are both top drilled pieces right here. So the holes are there. They're top drilled. I don't know if you can see them, but they're there. So that's onyx. And where'd the one? I had one more piece. Oh, here it is. And these are black jasper beads here. So these black jasper beads as well. So these are the gemstone pieces for this lot. Um, now this piece is imitation turquoise. It's just acrylic, but I just thought it was cute and threw it in with this because it matched so well. So, but it is not a gemstone. Okay, and so for the rest of this lot, for the filigree, we have one of the Swarovski filigree pendants that you can glue your crystals on. We have the butterfly that you can glue the crystals on as well. We have this elephant, which I think is absolutely adorable, and he does have places for tiny crystals if you wanted to glue the rhinestones in there, the elephant. Um, I've got these two pendant pieces that um, are Jesse James pieces. And then, let's see, this I thought was a really cool focal bead. Um, check it out. That goes with that set. And then I have a bunch of Jesse James beads here as well. So these blue ones are the little fabric drops. And these are sparkly. They're so pretty. And then we've got these beads here that are really cool. They are like bumpy. I don't know what those are. Micro pearls, I guess, that are glued on there. Okay. And then we've got a couple of acrylic donuts that match really good with this set. And these are all Jesse James beads as well, right here, that will go in with this set. And then I've included some 60 seed beads in navy and some acrylic bicones. So all of this is lot number two, if you're interested in lot number two. Okay? 
So let me move lot number two <laughs> aside. Try to keep everything together. All right, now lot number three is back here behind me, and I will show you the gemstone pieces for lot number three. So we've got um, some chrysalicola again for lot number three. These are a large oval focal beads. Let me take them out so you can see them. They're beautiful. Look at that. Really, really pretty. Okay, there's two of those. Now this is a gemstone and I am not sure what it is, but it is really cool. It is a wavy, like a focal bead that goes really well with those. And then I've got some of the small missing one. I'm missing a bead. Uh, where did it go? Oh, here it is. It's under the elephant. Um, and these gemstone beads as well go with this set. Okay. And then I believe that's all the gemstone beads for this set. Okay. So then um, I will show you the focals. We've got some a pretty lampwork glass focal here, which I thought was really pretty with those colors. Um, we've got a beautiful pendant piece here that matches this perfectly. I like this set. I love these colors. That one's pretty. Let's see. And then we've got a filigree butterfly. And this beautiful pendant piece as well. And that goes really well with the whole set. We've got this piece that's from the Jesse James collection. We've got the elephant in here. We have a silver angel. Now these pieces, I believe, are shell. Um, I'm not sure, but they're really cool. They are from a bracelet or a necklace that has been taken apart. And I love these. <laughs> they're so pretty. And I thought they looked so pretty with this set. They just blended perfectly with it. And then these are two of the Potomac um, Czech, Czech ladybugs, the Potomac beads, Czech ladybug beads. So there's a Czech glass. Whoops. I'm dropping things everywhere. Okay. We have a rose gold heart locket piece here. Actually, we have two of those. And these are some really cute little leaf cabochons. Look at those. Aren't they adorable? But they fit really good with this theme as well. And then I have another bracelet here that's been taken apart. These are beautiful shell pieces and really sparkly rondelles. But these are all pre-ready <laughs> made drops for you to do whatever you wanted to do with. And again, they go really well with the set with these colors. I have three of the shell pieces. The That was from a necklace that was taken apart as well. Okay, we have a beautiful butterfly pendant piece here. Let me shine him up a minute. He's a, yeah. It's just a pretty butterfly piece. And I've got some acrylic bicones in coordinating colors. A seed bead mix in coordinating colors. I thought these colors were all so pretty. We have a lampwork glass angel pendant piece. We have a big focal metal bead and then a whole bunch of the Jesse James beads as well. So these are like a leather. They have a leather covering them it feels like. These are fabric. Which I thought those were really cool. Um, and then we've got this mix here of crocheted, and this is like a leather, and this is the uh, sparkly little drops. So here is um, 
lot number three. And lot number three has got a lot in it. <laughs> but I love the colors. I thought it was so pretty. Um, just everything went together so pretty. I, I love the colors in lot number three. So let me move lot number three out of the way. Okay. There's lot number three. I really like lot number three. All right, now lot number four. So let's start with the gemstone pieces in lot number four. And we've got some beautiful opalite here. So all of this opalite, like this could be a pendant nearing set, however you wanted to do it, but it does have to be wire wrapped. It is not drilled through. So it would have to be wire wrapped or bales or whatever you would want to do with that, but it's very pretty. And then we've got this bead, and I don't know what this is, but I had two of these, and I think they're stunning. Very, very pretty beads. We have a very large um, cat's eye glass heart. It is so, so pretty, but it's it's good size, so that's there. And we have two of these flat cat's eye pendants that do have the drill through them. So these are the gemstone pieces for lot number four. And I will show you everything else that's in lot number four. So the filigree pendant pieces, we've got this one, which I think is so cute. And these owls, I found these two owls. I love them. Aren't they adorable? <laughs> so we've got the owls. Let's see. We've got a silver angel. We have a cab that could be made into a pendant. I thought this was really pretty with this set. It matches really well. And then look at this pendant piece. This is gorgeous. Um, I absolutely love this piece and thought it looked beautiful with this set as well. We have a heart with some rhinestones. A filigree butterfly. We've got some pine cone pieces, a drop, and a focal pendant piece. And here's another drop, so that would make a good like pair of earrings with the focal piece if you wanted. Some decorative um, metal beads here. Now oh, this is a beautiful pendant as well. I really think this is so pretty. Look at this. Very, very pretty pendant piece. And that goes well with this lot. There's another pendant piece. It's really pretty with this lot too. And another pendant piece that's really pretty with this lot. So there's that one as well. Okay, we have got some acrylic donuts. Let's see, I'm over here. White acrylic donuts. This is another pendant piece. And all these are the dark blues and the silvers. I thought were really pretty together. These are two. Um, just they could be earrings or whatever you wanted there. We have a cool looking Lampert glass bead. And then these are Jesse James beads here. These are sparkly little drops. They're like covered in, it's like a fabric material kind of stuff. And then these are Jesse James beads. These there and then to finish off this lot we have some dark blue size six seed beads some black acrylic bicones and another seed bead mix so this <laughs> you get that big old heart in there he's really cool so this is lot number four if you're interested in lot number four all right Let's see. Where am I going to put lot number four? Let me put it over here. Be careful and not scratch anything. Okay, so this is lot number four. All right, lot number five. Let's do the gemstone pieces. 
Oh, this is so pretty. This is a green snake fire agate heart pendant. Look at this. Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay, we've got some more chrysalicola in an oval gem. Got a couple of cat's eye glass cabs. These, um, I believe these are turquoise or some sort of, they're a gemstone, I'm just not sure. They might be the chrysalicola as well. And here's one more flat cab with the cat eye. And then these are white jade drops. Actually, they're briolettes. They are top drilled. Okay. All right. And then I will pull out the beads for this one. I think I'm getting lot five and lot six mixed up. Okay. So, along with the everything, with all these gemstone pieces um, in this lot, you will get um, a beautiful filigree bead. It's like a, reminds me of a hot air balloon, but it's really pretty. We have a silver angel. We have a beautiful filigree heart. We have a set of the pine cone drops and the focal piece that goes with it. Um, we have two of the Jesse James pendants. We have this filigree pendant with a place for a rhinestone. We have a couple of really pretty metal beads there. We have a large wooden bead mix. Now this has a lot of different stuff. There are some Jesse James beads in there, a bunch of different stuff in there. We have a matching seed bead mix that matches these really well. Okay. We have these two big focal pieces from Jesse James. And we have a bunch of Jesse James beads here. So let me scoop this up so you can see. So this is a bunch of Jesse James beads too. These are like some really cool part glass, part metal. Here's some wooden beads, some acrylic beads. But all these go, these colors go really well together. We have a seed bead mix in the same colors. And we have some acrylic bicones and some acrylic round beads in white and clear that just match it. And we have another smaller bit mix of wooden beads to go along with the bigger mix of wooden beads. So this is lot number five, which really the starring piece is that. <laughs> so this is lot number five if you're interested in lot number, I'm sorry, this is lot number four. Wait. No, this is lot number five. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm getting confused myself. So this is lot number five. If you're interested, there's lot number five. Okay. And then lot number six. I really like this one. Okay. So lot number six. Here it comes. This is a beautiful, beautiful pendant made from Dragon Bain Agate. Look at this, the purple and the pink and the green, just gorgeous. This is an agate teardrop pendant. It's beautiful as well. We have a chunk of rose quartz that is drilled through. It's got a hole all the way through. And these are both pendant pieces as well with the holes in them. And we have a couple of cat's eye. Now this one is not drilled. It would have to be wire wrapped, but look at the facets on it. It's really pretty. And then this is a cat eye bead that is top drilled. So, and it does have a little um, spot right there. I don't know what happened to it. You can see it, but okay. And then we have another cat eye 
drop and this is not drilled it's like the blue one that was in that other lot it would have to be uh, wire wrapped probably and we have a rhodochrosite pendant here this is really pretty so this is kind of the pink lot sort of and then these are all beautiful shell pieces this is from a bracelet that was taken apart but they're just gorgeous gorgeous shell links and they go really well with this, I thought. If I can get them back in the bag, there's a bunch of them. Okay. So those are the shell and gemstone stuff from this lot. And let me show you what else we have in this lot. So along with that, we have a filigree elephant with the little rhinestones places. We've got these two pendant pieces cute little owl with rhinestone places, this lamp work glass angel pendant, this is like a compass pendant, this I thought was really cool here, this is a pendant but it's just like a wire wrapped with lots of little seed beads on it, it's cute, and then we have two of the rose gold heart locket pieces. Okay, and then we have some links here from a bracelet that's been taken apart as well. And I just dropped a bead. Oh, let's see it. These beads have wanted to roll everywhere today. Okay, we have these four big, big acrylic beads that want to roll everywhere. We've got three elephants. These are actually beads. They're so cute. And we've got some Jesse James beads here as well. So these are the fabric covered drops. So Jesse James. And these are all Jesse James as well. These wooden beads and these fabric covered ones with the orange. This is a very colorful set. I like it. Here's a really cool looking pendant bead or focal bead. We've got some wooden barrel beads in here. We've got some colorful wooden barrel beads in here. We have an acrylic mix of bicones and a seed bead mix of 60 seed beads that match all of this as well. So this is lot number six. And your starring things in lot number six are these two agate pendants. They're absolutely beautiful. But that is lot number six. It's got a lot in it. <laughs> All right. So that's it for the lots of bead mixes and gemstones and focals. So like I said, if you're interested in any of these, um, comment in the comments below. And then um, email me. Here's my email one more time. And, you know, the first person for each lot, you got to tell me which lot you want. The first person for each lot will... Get dibs on that one and then we'll move down the line from there. All right. So thanks for watching, guys. I'm still de-stashing. I've got a bunch of chain um, lots that I'm going to put up here in a little while. Just jewelry chain to build your stash. And so watch for that and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.